hello guys how are you guys doing hope you guys are good all right guys this video is the concluding part of our not stress oh did you miss the first part i'm going to leave a link up there okay so that you can click it and then you watch it okay in this video we are going to talk about the other side of our dress and how to sew it okay so you can see it came out fantastic our knot is fantastic you don't want to miss any of it so if you have any question leave your comments okay don't forget to subscribe like this video and share so here i am i want to um show you how to make the other side of your the other side of the bodies okay that's the left side or the right side so i want to show you how to do the right side facing you okay the right side facing you now okay that's the inner part okay so what i want to do is simple first of all i will connect my waist that to my nipple point and then i'll get the points the points that um i want my neckline depth to be remember we talked about it so the neckline depth it was somewhere here i've already made the mark and then my neckline width was here for the other one okay it was here for the other one okay so what i want to do now is i want to connect from here to here to my nipple point and then to my side okay that's what i want to do next okay all right so i have this now okay so i have this okay so i have this so what i want to do is to cut i'm going to cut this off okay Ta -da! can you see i have cut it i have cut it off <laughs> all right so on this part on this part also now for this part i'll also come here i'll come towards me like so i'll come in by one inch here I'll come in by one inch also here okay i'll come in by one inch so what i want to do next okay is to also connect my waist dart to my shoulder to my bust to my nipple points okay so i have this and then i have this so what I want to do next is to cut through my waist. Okay, I want to cut through my waist. So I'm going to do the same thing. I am going to mark it. Okay, so this is my waist, right, for the side, and then I have this also. Okay, so you don't get confused. Okay, <laughs> all right. So I'm going to cut through my waist. So the next thing I want to do is. From this, I want to transfer my sh my shoulder that I want to transfer the shoulder that to my waist. Okay. To my waist. Okay. And then I'll transfer it here. Okay. I should have done it before. <laughs> All right. So to my, you know, remember this one inch that we did here, right? So I'm going to transfer it there. All right. So I'll go like so, bam, okay, and then I'll transfer it. So you can do it from the onset. I don't know what I was thinking. Okay, so I have this now, okay, so I have this, all right. So the next thing I want to do, okay, I want to transfer this my waist that to this point here, this waist that, remember, this not this one, this one. Okay, I'm going to transfer it to my one inch. Okay, so I have this now. So can you see? Can you see the skirts? Can you see what we have now? Okay, so can you see what we have transferred, right? So the next thing is I want to draw a line, okay? So from this point, I will draw a line to my arm O. And then from the same point, I'm going to draw to my to my arm o okay so I'll draw it this way so can you see all right and then for this part okay for this part I'm going to first draw from my dart point okay from my dart point I'll draw a line to somewhere here okay and then 
I'll draw another one from here to here and then from that same point I'll draw another one to that point there okay that point there all right so we have this so can you see can you see what we have okay can you see what we have you can pause it to see what we are doing the next thing i want to do is i want to slash okay so notice where my dots are this is my neckline points okay and then this is my arm o, okay so that you don't get confused all right so i'm going to slash not cut you okay to this point okay so i have this and then i'll do the same thing for this So I have this. So can you see? And then, yeah, sorry. I'm going to cut this also. Okay. So I have this. Okay, guys. So I have this now. Okay. So this is my body. Okay. The top part of my body. Okay. So for this one, you need to put in some consideration okay because your dart opening must tally with this dart opening here okay that's for the skirt part okay unlike the first the, the other side we did that we didn't care about the opening okay okay but this two this one remains the same you know remember it's our shoulder that it remains the same this this two here okay these two here you need to take their measurements and make sure that they are the same okay what I want to do now is this measurement. I need to take it now. This one from this point, from this dart leg to this, to this dart leg, I will take it. I will take this one, okay? This dart leg. So I have one, one, one eight, okay? So I have one, one eight. So this two has to be the same, the same figure. You need to use the same figure to open them, okay? But for the purpose of this tutorial, I'll be using um, I'll be using two inches. Okay, so you can use more than two inches to open. It depends on how full and how how much um, knocked you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to open it by two inches. Okay, so this is my two inches here. I'll repeat the same here to here should be two inches okay it should be two inches so I have this okay I'll come here also for the lower part which is the sketch part okay and then you know this one okay so so that you don't get confused I was supposed to um, number it down okay so for instance I have here will be one two three and four okay so I have one two three and four okay so I have one two three and four okay so what I want to do is I want to spread them okay so for this you remember between one and two okay between one and two you have a dart okay the same thing here between one and two you have a dart so whatever distance you have here remember it's stagnant right is one 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 eight so i'm going to measure it here too okay one one eight okay so if i'm measuring one one eight it should stop here okay so this my point will stop at this 118 here okay so I have that I'm going to max it down I have this right so this other two one two must correspond with this okay remember I used two inches right so I'm going to do the same
okay guys so i have this now okay so what i want to do next is just to draw a straight line to this point see here and here okay okay so now i have this okay i have this quite easy okay so what i want to do next is this okay now for this part you need to create a hole that the other the other piece will be able to go through it okay you need to create an a hole for the other piece to go through it okay so what you want to do is from this point you move in one and a half so from this point right for the top part from this point you move in one and a half okay so you can also reduce this figure okay that's when you have inserted the other piece okay so guys i had to just correct something i discovered that i took the wrong measurements here and then i replicated it here so you want to make sure that this space is equal to this space okay so remember from here i came in one and a half okay i'll do the same thing from here from one towards um towards two i'll take one and a half okay okay so on this line right and also on my side so remember the red dots indicate my waist okay so the red i'm going to take also take one and a half okay so this is it and then one and a half this is it okay i'll take it at the waist okay okay so i'm going to use a red pen okay to indicate my the hole i created okay from here to here okay and then from here to here from here to here now i'm doing this because when i place on my material you will not get confused okay so you'll be wondering what will happen to this dot okay that you can decide to turn it into a panel or you can decide to just hold it up okay so since it's going to be inside there's no much to do there okay okay guys so i have this now okay can you see how it's styling with every other thing okay what i want to do next is just to transfer my dots my dark my red dots okay so that you don't get confused so i have this here now i'm going to also transfer yes it's already transferred that's my hole the hole i created okay i have this and then i have here okay so i have this all right so i'm going to remove this i don't need this anymore okay you also need to transfer your darts okay to your new pattern so i'm going to just do this this is my waist these are the holes that i created okay and then this one okay this is my waist towards my waist my darts uh, my, the hole i created and then this and then this is the side okay so and this is the waist sorry okay so for this for the waist for this dart here as long as is on my nipple on my dart point okay that line is on my dart point i can i can just cut it through and then it will be one piece okay without the darts okay so it will one piece like this but this i will need to hold it up or i turn it into a panel okay so now i have this okay so the next thing you want to do is to cut okay now before you cut you need to make sure you 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 ask yourself what how do you want to finish the neckline okay is it by um facing what do you want to do to the neckline how do you want to finish it up okay guys so i have just cut this on my material okay and then i added the sewing allowance okay so i'm using a muslin a muslin to show you okay yes not muslin muslin okay or you can call it call it a um, teru <laughs> all right so you can use this okay so this are everything i have so because i want you to understand what you've been doing I'm going to continue with my red dots on my pattern okay so that you you understand all right so i'll take this one the first one we did right 
I'm going to indicate my what. I will go further to indicate where my um, what is it called where my hole is going to be okay so I have this all right and then I have this for this one this indicates where the hole will be this one is here and then here okay all right I have this okay so we are going to couple this one first okay we'll couple this one first that's the last one we did the last side we did okay so we're going to couple this one first okay so what i want you to do is i want you to sew here to here okay you sew here to here and then you jump you have to jump the the um the hole that we talked about okay and then you continue your sewing and then you jump the hole we talked about here okay and then you hold your dart and continue your sewing for the rest of the waist okay okay guys so after you've done sewing see what I sewed okay can you see I sewed from here stopping here stopping at my hole I didn't sew my hole I continued I didn't sew this and then I continued okay now I have this now this is how yours should look like it should look like this okay so what you want to do next is is to take is to take the first remember the first one we did the, yeah the first illustration so this will come towards the right now you try to pass this part remember this is the the top part you remember to pass this into the hole and then you come out from here you take it into this hole inside and then you come out from this hole okay remember you have one hole here and then you have another hole and you then bring it up just this part alone just the spot alone so so watch me as I try to do this so can you see the way we passed it okay can you see the way we passed it we pass it through here and then out and then we have this okay I know it might not be looking like it now, but don't worry. At the end of the day, you see what you are coming up with, okay? So remember here is my waist, right? This is our waist. Remember that the dots. So So now I'll sew it together, okay? I'll make sure it is tight and I'll make sure I sew towards the the knots it is tight okay so I'll go and do that okay guys okay guys I'm so excited about this project so can you see it is done okay so all what you just have to do is to make sure that everything aligns okay before you sew it to the back okay so this is the front so can you see it can you see right can you see what we've done yeah so um, let me show you here see can you see it's it's sewn like this and here so can you see this one is stopping here right and then you have the knots okay so the back I'm not going to talk about the back because the back is easy okay so it's just a plain back the only thing you change in your back is just the neckline depth and the neckline width width so if you want to use neck the neckline which should be the same as this okay
guys here is our not drapery um, dress okay so um, even though I used a a muslin you can see my drapes are forming okay um, now imagine I'm I'm using a drapery material it will form very well okay so please let me know if you will try this and if you have any question if you encounter any issue while doing yours just give me just leave a message below okay so guys don't forget to subscribe subscribe to this channel leave a message leave a comment okay and give this video a thumbs up and most importantly please share this video okay thank you guys thank you so much for your time and um, I believe you will try this okay so guys do have a lovely 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 day okay all right guys bye